For the past few months, I've been working on a sponsored video for MSI, creators of premium gaming PCs and hardware. The entire project was based around these two life-size replicas of the Aegis TI-5 and the MAG274 QRF QD monitor. These were created by Aaron Newman, whom you might have seen on Season 1 of LEGO Masters. Great attention to detail was paid in the creation of these builds, from the cable ports along the back, to the gaming dial, down to the brick-built mosaic of the MSI logo. Make sure to check out the original PCs and monitors that these were based on by following the link in the description. MSI contacted me and asked about featuring these models in a stop-motion video. After bouncing around a few ideas, we settled on an action-packed brick film of a personified antivirus software hunting down and eliminating viruses inside and outside the computer. I deviated from my usual comical approach, taking a darker and more serious tone. Eh, at least as serious as you can get with LEGO figures. The look of the video was largely inspired by Tron, merged with the industrial feel of Ridley Scott's Alien. The sound design also took inspiration from some of my favorite horror films, such as Alien and The Shining. The LED filament lights were sent to me for free by BrickStuff.com, link in the description. They were an essential part in creating the aesthetic of this video. Most of the interior set pieces were built with these lights specifically in mind. I only ended up building around 10 distinct different elements for the interior. These were designed to come apart easily, sometimes being held together just by sticky tack, so that I could repurpose them in different shots from different angles. In some shots, I used an LED light box to show light glowing up through the grating pieces on the floor. Flashlights with filters and laser pointers were also used to add authenticity to the laser blasts and explosions. When I needed a particularly small patch of light, I used clay on the front of the flashlight to narrow down the beam. I used two different cameras for this video. All of the shots inside the computer were animated on a Logitech Brio 4K web camera, while all of the external shots were animated with a Canon T2i DSLR. This gave a subtle difference between the look of the internal and external worlds, helping the two feel visually distinct. The web camera also allowed me to get in much smaller spaces and capture the action at an incredibly close distance. The shots in the corridor were quite challenging, as the low roof made it difficult for me to reach in and move the characters. For some shots, I even built the walls up off of the floor and had the characters standing on clay so that I could get the camera at an even lower angle than would have been possible otherwise. While for other shots, I attached the webcam to a C-stand to get a high angle looking down on the scene. For a lot of the action shots, the character's arms were popped off and reattached with clay, allowing for much more flexibility than otherwise. I was inspired by the behind the scenes of The Mandalorian to experiment with using an external monitor instead of a green screen for the background in a number of shots. This monitor would display a video of a warpy lightning effect that I would scrub through one frame at a time as I animated my shot. For the shots looking down on the screen, I actually built the set on its side and stuck the characters to the floor with clay, which allowed for much easier angles while I was animating. When the characters fall, they are held up by wires stuck into lumps of clay. I took two frames for each movement, one with the characters and the wires present, and one without. I then used these clean frames to paint out the wires in the final shot. Virus Hunter is one of the biggest and most elaborate videos that I have shot to date, and I believe all the effort shows in the final product. Thanks very much for watching this behind the scenes video. I hope you found it both entertaining and informative. I appreciate your faithful viewership, and I hope to have more content out for you soon.